Hello friends, welcome back to our channel for yet another tour of another great property in Hurricane. First, we'd like to thank the sellers and the listing agent, Nancy Cram, for presenting us with an opportunity to provide a tour of this home to our clients, as well as our YouTube viewers, potential future clients. So let me tell you a little bit about this property. It is located in Hurricane, Utah, and it is a four bedroom, two bathroom home. It's 1,912 square feet, and it is currently offered at 549.9. Let's, uh, let's take a look at some of the surroundings. So this property is surrounded by like styled properties, and we're actually up on the hill. And from here, from, from the driveway, you get to see some great views of Pine Valley Mountain through that gap in between the homes. And the home is slightly elevated up above the rest of the community. This property has a three car garage. And it sits on, let me take a look and tell you, The garage square footage is 778 square feet and the lot size is 0.21 acres, so not a super huge lot. And this property was built in 2015. So there's tile throughout the entry. As we enter through the front door, um, to the right there's a, a bedroom, a medium sized bedroom that has some nice views through the front window. It has a ceiling fan light fixture and a walk-in closet and this carpet uh, this this room has carpet and the carpet is actually in really great shape especially for a 2015 home this hallway also has a, a nice coat closet and the gray tile uh, really looks nice in the high traffic areas so we enter into the living room, has a nice open floor plan with a little bit of carpet and a living room followed by the tile throughout the kitchen and the dining area. Granite countertops throughout. This property has gas Whirlpool appliances with a gas cooktop and a stove, a Whirlpool dishwasher, Whirlpool microwave, but it does not have a refrigerator. Let's see if these cabinets are soft clothes. Nope, they are not. The cabinets are regular clothes. Is there a pantry? Or am I just not seeing it? You know what? That a lot of is people a great like question. don't even think about that, but yeah, um, there is a small pantry oh, right okay. here, oh, okay. and it has a kind of a unique system oh. for organizing cans. I think. Oh, nice. So if you're into canned goods, That's you just lot. load them up through yeah. the top, and they roll straight down. Wow. Okay. Kind of a unique touch. I can't say I've seen that before. That's a Oh, right. <laughs> warehouse some serious cans in this house mm -hmm. so let's go in this direction first as we walk off the main living room down this hallway we have a bedroom to the left a bedroom to the right a hallway bath or a guest bath right here and there is a small linen closet and we will start with the bedroom that faces the front of the property Similar size bedroom to the one that we just saw off the front. It has a nice large window that opens to the front of this home and you get to see a little bit of a Pine Valley Mountain right there in the distance. I'm not sure if the camera is capturing it. See. And this bedroom has a good sized closet as well. Let's go check out the powder room. Well, it's not really a powder room. It is actually a full bath. And I'll let you go in there so you got a good view. It's kind of a unique looking tile up above the bathtub. There's a single sink vanity with a nice large mirror. And we have one more bedroom back here that faces the rear of the property. And one really cool thing about this property is the backyard is very, very private. I believe it backs up to the Bureau of Land Management land and the property is slightly recessed from the rest of this hill that keeps going up. So you have you know, virtually no, no potential future rear neighbors, uh, but that may have to be confirmed. Don't quote me on it. And 
for those of you that are watching this video and would like to know more, I will always add the link at the very top of the description for this video. So this room also has a good sized closet. Neutral tones for paint throughout. I would say it's like an off gray color on the walls with white trim. Let's go check out the master suite. Actually, before we get to the master suite, let's make a stop right here. So this property has a, I would say a medium sized laundry room. The dryer can be electric or gas. And this property does have natural gas. And right across here, there's a granite countertop for a folding table. I like that all the high traffic areas of this home have this large tile, easy to clean. Master bedroom is not overwhelmingly large in this home, uh, but it does have two windows and would possibly accommodate a, a king size bed. Master bath has a single sink vanity with a soaking tub and a nice large walk-in shower, as well as a linen closet and a designated water closet right here. I think majority of the square footage in this room went into the shower, which is a useful detail. Shower is finished with beautiful tile. And we have a good size master closet. Let's go check out the garage and the backyard for this home. So this property does have a three car garage. Another important thing to note is there is no, uh, no door from the master suite out into the backyard. So you have to access the backyard either through either through the living room, or I think this garage might have a man door as well. So it has a two car bay and a single car bay. The two car bay looks a little bit wider than normal. Mm -hmm. The water heater has its own dedicated shelf. And there is a man door that takes you out into the side yard. Well, and while we're here, let's go explore the backyard. This side of the home has a good size side yard that has plenty of room for trash bins to be tucked away out of sight. There's no privacy wall between the neighbors on this side, but this side of the neighbor's house does not have any windows. There's just a couple of bushes that isolate this backyard. Look out for this beautiful desert plant that's pokey. <laughs> so just a little patch of grass and then you're up against the natural retention with some beautiful boulders and this patio pretty much takes up the majority of the space in this backyard. I think that uh, some more creative ideas could be done with this space but for now it's just privacy would be the highlight. Let us know what you guys think about this house. If you have any questions or if you'd like the full MLS listing for um, this property, it is in the description below this video. Thank you all so much for tuning in and I will see you in the next one.